Welcome back to Rim Racket. This episode, we're going to be discussing the coldest hot takes of all time, NBA edition. So, <laughs> you're so funny. You were, you were mocking him, bro. It makes me laugh every time. I would since you pointed it out, I haven't stopped watching you, bro. You do it every single about. episode. Play it back, and then you'll, you'll understand. Get the oldest water over there. <laughs> anyway, um, you're gonna go first. Yep. Um, I actually need to get my notes. One that was just god awful was, I think it was, I don't remember the year, but it was basically Skip Bayless. All my takes are Skip Bayless because he's a fucking moron. Whoa. Um, hope he sees it. I hope he does too. Hey, yo. Um, but he said Andrew Bynum was like actually gonna be good, and he. Was not nowhere close to it. He had well, he had one all star. He had one all star appearance, but after that, no. I wouldn't say he was nowhere close to yeah, it. Yeah, I don't think he was bad. I think he was like he just a didn't top ten defender in the league for five seasons. Then, but they were trying. He was trying to make it sound like he was like going to be Shaq or like he said at one point he was better than Dwight Howard, and I don't think Andrew Bynum was never better than Dwight yeah, Howard. No. That is a hot take. But just him being a good player, I don't think that's a hot take. Uh, he, no, it's like, I remember the, the guy into it with Stephen A, because me and Jacob watched him not so long ago. Yeah, I remember. And he was like, just trying to hype him up as if he was like an MVP candidate. And that was just, Yeah, he mentioned like. That blew me. That the Lakers should keep Kobe and Andrew Byron and trade. Kyle Gasol. Kyle and trade everybody. Yeah. To build around Andrew Byron. And me personally, I just. And this was before the. The Dwight trade before the yeah. Dwight trade to the Lakers. Stephen A is like, let's Lakers need to trade for Dwight Howard. Trade your mind. Yeah. And Skip Bailey yeah. is like, no, he's the future. He's gonna be a a top five center in the league someday. You know, yada yada. Yeah. He never was. But that that's my first one, so I'm gonna start it off with um bad Skip Bayless. Yeah, <laughs> Skip Bayless has a lot. I don't know what they got, but I, 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 I can assume Skip Bayless is at least one of theirs. Skip Bayless is all three of mine. Skip Bayless is a single one on mine. Um, my first one is the this player wouldn't survive in this era. Like, for example, LeBron wouldn't make it in the 90s. LeBron's making it in the 90s. Yeah. Uh, Will Chamberlain wouldn't make it today. Will's making it today. If if they just had, like, I don't think, if you're a good player, I think you're going to be a good player no matter what area you go to because you have to also take in consideration if Will played today, he'd have all the medical stuff and, like, the nutrition and all that that these players have today. Combined with his skill set, he might be even, I don't know if he'd be better than he was back then because I will say competition does differ from arrows, but to say somebody wouldn't thrive, I think that's wild. I think that's one of the worst takes in any sport. Can you get what you on that one? Yeah, for sure. I, I see where you're coming from on that one. I can agree. But would dominate today. I feel like it would be crazy to watch. I still think he I don't would. think he would get the 50 points per game. No, but yeah. like, he would like the skill set he has. 15. The skill set he has yeah. and like his size. And... and if he was playing today, he might have a jump shot. Yeah, for real. So, that'd, that'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Did you guys think he was playing against like five foot eight? Bill Russell. The guy who's playing against Bill Russell. Russell. The Kareem. And then Bill Russell. <laughs> There's like three or four really tall black guys against a bunch of small white guys. And so, it was just easy buckets all day long. So, 100 for them, it was nothing. It was like a. It was easy. Is so that your take? Yep. That's my first one. So, my. My first cold hot take comes from a tweet from a guy who goes by Urkel Nine. He tweeted this uh, May 24th, 2015, and said, LeBron is 30. This fuckery won't go on for much longer. Thank God. And just here he is at 38 years old. After he made that tweet, LeBron went and made four more finals, won two more champions. Championship, and he's now the all-time leading scorer in NBA history. 
And as a 38 year old, I have a 38 year old. 28, 28, 8 and 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8
I'm not gonna say I didn't say he ruined it, but I understand. Um, my next one is another Skip Bayless. It's not really a bad one, but it was saying D Wade was the next Michael Jordan. Um, I think his I think his quote was that D Wade is the closest thing to Michael, closest to Michael Jordan. Something along those lines, like that. But no disrespect to Dwayne Wade. I know Jordan's best friends with him. But, um, no. 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 There's only one person that acts and plays like Michael Jordan. And it's that guy. Right? This guy literally does every move Michael done. He has very similar like, shot, demeanor, bald head, everything. He's literally Jordan made over. He Wade was a lot different. Um, I did see some of Pet Bev said that he sees a lot of Michael Jordan and Anthony Day or Anthony Davis, Anthony Edwards. Yeah, I seen that uh, earlier today actually. I think I was just like his his the moves like his fadeaways and how he plays intensity. I guess I get the similarities between like Mike and D Wade, just like slashing two guards that are really good defensively, but in terms of like impact, D Wade did not have the impact that. My cat at all. It's not a bad take, but it's one I don't agree with. Yeah, and I don't think a lot of people would. And my last terrible Skip Bayless take was a 60 year old Michael Jordan could be a LeBron James. I think 60 year old Michael Jordan could be any level of LeBron James, personally. Um, that's just me. I can take him. Yeah. God. Um, Leave one out, um, but I don't know if Skip Bayless is a big LeBron hater, but watch sports, we know that. Um, it's like any take like that against LeBron is just outrageous, in my opinion. Like, the, the thing you said about LeBron wasn't Skip Bayless, but um, just having a hot take about LeBron just seems that right to me. Might have been Skip Bayless's burner, could have been. I don't know, it's like he, I don't know how you can have a hot take against LeBron James. I don't. I don't. I don't see it. It's just any player that has a lot of hype, you want to just bring the downfall and hope that it's right. I get that, but like I can't even think of a hot take about LeBron James. I can't. I can't. Hot takes is not even top five all time. Whoever Who? said that you need to get smacked. Who said that? Which one? Me. No, who? Um, I thought you were talking about Skip Bayless. I was no. like, in what? Oh, no. uh, Skip Bayless is definitely top three. In what? I mean, fucking wrong? It gets clicks. It gets views. People it's say like you're a hoop out there. It's real. It gets views. You fucking mm-hmm. stupid. Skip Bayless, you're watching this, you're a fucking idiot. You're chilling. Yo. You're a fucking idiot. We're trying to be media. We're never getting on the show on Fox. We. I didn't say nothing. He's never given a show on Fox. Oh, I'm on Fox. Fred says, Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with my next take. And uh, the this is from Scott T. Parkinson. <clears throat> Scott? Mm-hmm. On draft Parkinson. night, in 2013, the Milwaukee Bucks select Giannis at selection 15. And he says, Mark my words, the Bucks should have taken Shane Larkin. It's pretty affordable. <laughs> <laughs> he said, mark my words. His words have been marked, rearranged, uh, thrown out the window. Those You need to erase them. Those were awful. Even I think even back then, Shane Larkin? Nah. I'm good, bro. Yeah, no. That's, that's pretty awful. Makes my head hurt. He said that with some confidence too. Mark Pretty my word. words. Mark my words. If you say like, mark my words, you mean that wholeheartedly. You're dying on that. That reminds me of a take. What if he's still uh, from someone we know? Back 2017, remember the Celtics picked Jalen Brown, third pick. Me and Cole Pillar were talking. He said, "Man, I like Jalen Brown, but I think Dragon Bender would have fit really well." Shout out Cole. <laughs> you are awesome. Shout out Cole. And I wish I had it in like a screenshot of it, but I think it was like actually like oh. in person when he said it. 
speaking of Jalen Brown, um, someone said Romeo Langford had a better upside than Jalen Brown. The Romeo Langford hype was was huge. The Romeo Langford, I was on the Romeo Langford hype. The people were not very high on Jalen Brown whenever we got drafted third. Yeah, and, and they were they were not. Romeo got drafted there. by the Celtics, but it was later on. I yeah, believe. I have uh, searched Scott T. Parkinson on Twitter to see if he was still doing his thing. Looks like he's turned into a congressman. I don't see any sports stakes that well, Shane Larkin take took him out of business. <laughs> so for real, uh, he marked his words. Yeah, and now he's. Marketing for the state or Congress or no, I don't somebody. think he's an actual congressman, but his whole page is political. So he's trying. Ooh, Scott T. Park Parkinson's. Scott E. Does in. Okay, my next take. <laughs> so back in 2020, if you know who Bill Simmons is, he's like a really big uh, sports writer. Uh, he does like a lot of shows and stuff that focus on the NBA. He's Celtics fan, and on his podcast, he was talking about you know right before the NBA draft, and in 2020 the NBA draft was pushed all the way back to November because COVID. And he's like, "Would you guys, would you guys rather take Tyler Hero coming off the finals as a rookie, or would you trade him for the first overall pick?" And he defended the thought of having having Tyler Hero or trading. Number one pick for Tyler Hero. He defended that on his podcast. And just to let you guys know, what draft was that? 2020. Yeah, who who is the? So let's talk about some of the obvious ones being Anthony Edwards, Lamelo Ball, uh, Iris Halliburton, and then some smaller ones like Cole Anthony, Obi Toppin, Isaac Okoro, Patrick Williams, and Killian Hayes. Some other guys. So his take was keep Tyler Hero. His take was. Tyler Hero is good enough to trade for the first pick in that draft. Oh. Tyler Hero came off the rookie season. Say 2020 draft? 2020. James Wiseman was also drafted. Shout out James. That's the guy. But he was he didn't really like give an official like I would do this, but he was kind of toying with the idea. And then he put it uh, out on Twitter as like a poll, like, would you guys trade Tyler Hero for the 2020 first overall pick? And a lot of people we're like, yes, I, I gotta have Tyler Hero instead of the first pick in this draft, which is just insane to me because Anthony Edwards was cold in college. Melo Ball's been doing his thing for years. So for them to be like, yeah, Tyler Hero after one season, towards the number one overall pick, crazy. Very bad take. Bill Simmons, why would you put that on your podcast? In the sports writer. Yeah. Can't, can't get him wrong. Right. Can't get him wrong right all the time. Um, oh wait, you still have one more? Yeah. Okay. So this one was by probably Preston Burner Twitter account. It's called at LeBron Fact Check. <laughs> and it says, hot take, I'd argue that a 3 P actually would hurt a player's goat case more than it helps. Basketball is a team game, and if someone is 3 peating, that just shows how stacked their team is more than shows how good that individual player is. If you think that a three-peat would hurt a player's legacy, then I'm sorry to tell you, but you are smoking crack. There's no way a player could be the best team on, or best player on a team and win three championships in a row, and it hurts their legacy. That is unheard of. Three-peat are Rory, very, very great. Who should say that? that? You, bro. I did not say that. Yeah. At LeBron Fact Check on Twitter. Why would I say a three-peat would hurt someone's legacy? Why would I say that? Because. Why would I say that? Because that's what Bron fans are doing. They're like, oh, LeBron didn't get a three P. He only had two back to back. He would have got a three P and wouldn't have hurt his legacy at all. Well, according to this Bron sexual, he says a three P. That's not me. That's not me, bro. Dude, I know you have a burner account. I don't have a burner. And you just spend all your time defending the I have my I have my Waldo Twitter account. Thank you very much. I do my music. Oh, you just thank you. Robert Horry did three P. Her well, legacy. Well, I mean, it is. I seen this. I'll do the wire surprise. Um, but they were also talking about Robert Horry, and they were doing like a "Would you rather have the career of Robert Horry or Blink player?" And um, one of them said, "I'd rather have." Or he's he was he said something along the lines of like, 
imagine you are Robert Horry and you have seven championships, but like when people are talking about the GOAT debate, it's like Michael Jordan has six, and then you're the guy that's like Robert Horry has seven, right? So it's kind of like downplaying, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like, I would, I would. I think their argument was Jamal Crawford career or Robert Horry's. He was like, I'd rather have Jamal Crawford's because Robert Horry is like a, a meme. Like he won the championships, but whenever somebody's mentioning like the go debate, they're like, yeah, but Robert Horry has seven. And it's not like Robert Horry earned seven championships. It's like, yeah, but this guy has Robert seven this role was, player. Yeah, he was the yeah, so seven champions. I don't know. He had a few big shots. Big shot, Bob. Big shot, Bob. Nope. Better than B-Ball Paul. Better than B-Ball Paul. One of the best Robert oh, Horry interviews is whenever he talked about that buzzer beater he hit whenever he was on the Lakers. He said, I did not know the ball was coming back to me. He said, as soon as it hit my hands, I just got it. Who talked about? Robert Horry. Huh? Played with a lot of chess. No. Oh, go with Bev's in the ball. So I remember that press conference. He said, I did not think I was a better than the ball. Um, you don't have any more, do you? Do you have any more? I have a few more. Okay. I'll just go ahead and get my two out of the way, and then you can do the rest of yours. Okay. Um, so my next one is, Le- this was from a Redditor, somebody on Reddit. So could have been trolling. I don't know, but it's on there. So it says, LeBron and Jordan are the two most overrated players of all time. <laughs> Who the fuck do you want us to rate? Larry Bird and Jimmer Fredette. Man, shout out to Jimmer Fredette. How are you, bro? Go. Brian Scalabrini and Udonis Haslam. That's a great one-two punch. It's yeah. like if you bought Shaq and Kobe off team. That's what you get in the mail. <laughs> I just don't even like. He had to be trolling. Or he's got to be fifty. What else do you want us to debate? <laughs> he's got to be fifty and better. Well, he's probably a fan. Yes. Oscar Robertson, Jerry West, <laughs> or Pete Maravich. He probably watches Elgin Baylor. He probably thinks religious. Walt Bellamy is the goat. Bill Walton or Kareem Abdul Jabbar. This guy's got to be trolling. Okay. That's got to be the hottest hot take. Moses Malone or Adrian, Adrian Daly. Andrew, Andrew Daly was a bucket. At one point, Andrew Daly may have been the goat. I don't know. He did have. I think he had a season over 30 points per game. Andrew Daly was a bucket, though. Yeah. Do your homework. Do your homework now. Um, my last hot take um, was the James Wiseman is our future. That's my last Shout out, take. James. My Shout guy. out, James Wiseman. That's my guy. I don't, I don't dislike you. I don't hate your time here. But everybody was like, um, all the Warriors need. He got this. hurt, though. He got hurt, though. All the Warriors Insane. need is this athletic big man who can catch lobs and rim run. And he is very athletic. He can do both of those things. But I just think throwing this, how old was he, 19? Yeah. 18, 19 year old into a sit like a proficient system and just expecting him to be good was awful. Yeah. And there were so many Warriors fans that wanted that to happen. And they drafted Wiseman over LaMelo Ball, which in hindsight, if we had LaMelo Ball, we have like one of the best playmaking teams in the NBA. We'd be like Spurs twenty fourteen. Just passes. It just proves nah. that whenever you're drafting, you don't have if you're that high in the draft, like top three, you're not drafting for fit. You are drafting for the best player available in the top three. Yeah. Warriors, they were drafting for fit. They're like, Oh, we have every position on lock besides center. Even though Devon Looney has not done anything to prove that he's like not solid enough to start. Well, at, least at, at least at that time. At that time, he's still a champion. So good. Yeah. But they were like, oh, we need a center. And they drafted one, and it didn't work out. Which so they, they, went, like, they kind of wasted this number two overall pick. If they're going for best player, they would have got Mel Ball. I feel like his career would have still been the way it has been. All yeah. dark, however, it's yeah. Max Deal. I feel like if James did get hurt. I think, I think he could have made, made it work. Because J- James could shoot a little bit. If you watch McCall, he can shoot a little bit. And he wasn't like the greatest three point shooter ever, but you know, he can he'll hit he can hit you at three. He's open yeah, but it's more easy to hit threes against people in college as compared to hitting threes against grown men in the NBA. 
But he was also a big that like could put the ball on the floor. Not saying he's a bad player, it's just on that team, it was not gonna work out. Yeah. I hope it works out for him wherever he goes. Like right now he's in Detroit. Maybe they can find a role for him. I feel like him and Mar- Marvin Bagley are just playing the same exact role. Oh my God, right now. Me. My guy was balling out in the summer league, man. They're gonna turn up in the season. Um out of Detroit. I want nothing Detroit but the be, best. Shout out of Detroit. But it was just did not fit. But just hey, he got him a ring. He did get a ring. He did get a ring. That's all he but, needed. Yeah. Because he it's, said he showed me a video of them. Um about to meet the president. Maybe right guy, wrong wrong time. I don't yeah. Know. But I'll stop talking. So my I'm standing up for my guy, dude. That's my next take comes from a live season from another Laker fan, LeBron fan. Michael Vincent. And this was right before this is right before Kyrie got traded to the Mavericks. He says, Kyrie is a Laker. It's only a matter of time. No team is trading for him with one year left on his contract when they know he won't be in LA. This guy straight up thought, no team is gonna trade for Kyrie knowing Kyrie's gonna go to LA. Not only was that wrong, because within a few weeks of that tweet, Dallas traded for him, but in the offseason, he had the chance to go to LA. He resigned back in Dallas. So everything about this tweet was just but they, and they, people just wanted to ship him and LeBron back yeah, together. That's and it's just very wishful thinking. I feel like every fan does it every year. They're like, the team is good, but I feel like if we had so and so, we'd be next level. I, every fan base does it. Like it's like yeah. Ever since LeBron went to LA and Kyrie's been a broken list, but. We'll put LeBron and Curry back together. Oh, they they, just read they dab much. each other for the game. They want to play together again. Which they, they talked. They, oh they they may want to play together again. I don't know. I don't talk to either of them. But I do. And they want to play together. It, it'd be cool if they play together. <laughs> I mean, they did. They did make the, the finals a lot. They did win one of the, if not the most impressive championship in NBA history. That's a debate for another day. But I mean, something a lot of people would want to see. It's like that's like saying put D Rose back in Chicago. You know, there could still be a chance. There still could be a chance where Kyrie ends up on the Lakers. Or with the or just with LeBron, or, or just with LeBron in general, I whether would, it's in LA or. And I feel like because LeBron I think LeBron's contract ends after the season. I think the most viable thing to happen is the, the Lakers are not the top tier contender, but they have a really good team on paper right now. Players that. Teams would like to have the Mavericks would like to have, and the Lakers would give up for for Kyrie if both teams are not living up to par whenever it comes to the season. That's the only way it would happen. Yeah, I I do have a question for the comments because this could be the question of the day: If Kyrie were to get traded, um, he signed the contract in Dallas, right? If he gets traded to LA, the taxes are different. Does he get? The taxes from Dallas, where he doesn't get taxed for the money, or would he then get taxed for his contract in LA? Yeah, because California no taxes are crazy, and there's no tax on your income in Texas and Florida. That's why players like like James Harden love being in Houston for the longest time. Dwayne Wade loved being in Miami for the longest time, even though the teams he was on were trash for a while. He made a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, my last take, which is a really hot take from Woj. Uh, normally, he's pretty like mild mannered and has like he just gives you the news. But all the way back in 2011, he was writing columns for Yahoo Sports before he worked for ESPN, and he said the title of his column was "LeBron will win a title someday, but he will never experience the purity of Dirk Nowitzki's championship." Match. Meaning, the stuff that Dirk had to overcome to get that ring, beating like the Lakers, beating a very young Thunder squad, and beating uh, the Heatles, obviously one of the biggest championships in NBA history. But Woj thought that LeBron, whenever he won a championship, would never have that big of a championship. And then five years later, LeBron easily won the most impressive championship to ever be won. I'm about to say it was easy. No, like that, yeah, whenever you're no, not easily won it. I'm saying easily whenever you're ranking most important championships. Oh, okay. I'd say the three one oh, okay. comeback. Yeah, yeah. Is, okay. So you made like it was easy for him to no, win that. I was like, no, easily. As a Cavs fan, I was stressed. No, easily to rank 
that finals as the most important because it's never happened before. Uh, likely might not ever happen again. He beat the best team ever assembled. All that put together. LeBron's moment whenever he won for Cleveland. I would argue. Definitely I, would, passes. I feel like in, in a lot of people's book, Dirk winning it for down. I would argue to say that I, I say this because it was mentioned when he won that championship, but obviously we'll never know because the Warriors didn't win it. But even if the Warriors won it, LeBron was still going to win that finals MVP. And that was, it was said that he could have possibly been the first unanimous finals MVP. He, it's only happened one time whenever teams lost and the player won it. It was Jerry West. Dude, the LeBron, the LeBron stat line in that, in that finals run was crazy. Yeah, but you have to think that I know that the Warriors lost, but Steph Curry was playing out of his mind. He was still playing as the MVP he was all season long. He got, eject, like, he got ejected in game six. Game five. I don't think Steph got ejected. He did. He threw his mouthpiece. He threw his mouthpiece and got ejected in one of those games. Did he not? I think Steph went had like one career. He got, or he got suspended a game or something. He did get ejected in the finals for throwing his mouthpiece, but I don't know if it was that, that series. I thought, it was, I, thought, I thought it was that. I know it, it might be. It was against LeBron. I know that. Um, I thought it was that one. Because the Draymond got thrown out of a game. Draymond got suspended. Suspended. Got suspended, and then Steph threw his mouthpiece because it was, I think, a foul call, and he got ejected. I'm pretty sure it was that final. Yeah, game. it was game six. Curry tossed the, yeah. uh, his mouthpiece up into the stand. Good fan. Yeah. Good memory. But it was late in the game. Lucky fan. I was positive. I didn't. That's messy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say this about the 2016 Warriors cast thing. A lot of Warriors fans are like, the energy totally shifted whenever Dre was out for that one game. Understandably, Draymond Green has a lot of energy, and he was a big part of that Warriors team that made him who they were. But they always seem to forget, always, always, always seem to forget that the Warriors' third best player was out for a game. Cavs' third best player, Kevin Love, also out for a game for a concussion protocol. So if you take the third best player from each team off, and it's just the two best guys going at each other, they have to outplay them. Me and LeBron versus Stephen Curry. I think it's pretty crazy to just completely throw out that fact that Kevin Love was still out for a game. It, it's like I always see it brought up. Draymond Green talks about all the time on his podcast. Like, well, I wouldn't have been out for that game because I was suspended. Yada yada yada. That's whenever the energy shift. Okay, I understand. But Kevin Love was out for a game too, and Kevin Love was lights out, dagger from the, from the corner. But he Kevin Love doesn't bring the energy to the Cavs like everyone does to the Warriors. I understand where Drake's coming from. What do you mean he didn't? Check that, that last play. He I'm talking like Curry in game seven. I'm talking like you know how Draymond gets. Kevin Love doesn't get like that. He doesn't. Yes, he does. LeBron he, he doesn't was, get he doesn't get like he doesn't get like Dre, but Dre no one gets like Dre. Exactly right? what I'm trying to say. But it's not to say that Kevin doesn't have his I didn't say Kevin didn't. I said he doesn't get like Draymond. Because he's not super loud and kicking people in the nuts. Is that what it takes for you to be like, he's got a different... Well, LeBron ain't kicking anybody in the nuts. LeBron ain't anybody. He almost stepped over somebody. Draymond is a great leader. Draymond is a great leader. I'm not going to take that Draymond disrespect. Well, no one's disrespecting him, dude. I'm, I'm not disrespecting I'm just saying a lot of First Warriors fans in control. general, they forget that Kevin Love was also out for a game. And they always want to bring up the fact that, oh, our third best player was up, and that's whenever the season or the series was over. I think, well, but me, me personally about that series... I think the Cavs role players played better than the Warriors role players. Oh, yeah, the whole sure. The whole, the whole series, I said season. The whole series, whether that be Richard Jefferson, Jared Smith, and Mon Shumpert. And, um, so the year before, whenever it was the Warriors versus the Tristan Cavs, Thompson. I, 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 Thompson I rooted for part. the Warriors because I was like, part of LeBron being the finals every freaking year. So I rooted for the Warriors to win just because they, now they're over my, over more my team. I was like, new team, let, let them win the championship. They're all young. The next year, it's like they have the best record in the league. Curry's United MVP. Clay Thompson out of nowhere has the biggest ego in the world. He's a douchebag. Draymond Green has kicked five people in the nuts within a 10 day period, it felt like. And they're just like, they're very easy to hate because the year before, they were very easy to love. And they went from being. If it wasn't for Kyrie, if it wasn't for Kevin really Love bad. getting his shoulder ripped off by Kelly Olynyk, and it wasn't for Kyrie being out, but they could have won in 2015. But I'm just saying, so what is, what, 
Um, Warriors were more fun to root for in 2015, and they were easy. Oh, that's what we're talking about right now. And it, was, it was easier to root for the Cavs in 2016 just because it was easier to hate the Warriors. Okay, so I was looking at the 2016 finals, like the games, and the reason why the Warriors fans and Draymond all say that the reason like Draymond getting suspended slowed us down is because we were up. We won game one, we won game two, and we won game four. So we were up 3-1, and then we got steamrolled every other game. So I think, and it looks like Kevin Love played the first game. We won. Um, I don't know if he played the second game. It doesn't show players. Can I click on the box? Mm, no. Yes. Let's see. Um, Kevin Love played the second game. We won. Third game, Kevin Love played the... No, he didn't. Wait, why does this have... I forget which game Kevin Love Kevin Love did not play the third game, and that's the one that they won. And he didn't play the fourth game. And that's the one that we won. So Kevin Love was out two games. Unless I read that wrong. Anyways, everything is just the what if. Yeah, yeah. Every, everything is what if. if. If Kevin Love didn't get his arm ripped out of socket, maybe the Cavs won. If uh, Draymond Green was there game five, maybe we won. If Kevin Durant and Clay Thompson didn't get injured, we would have won. But, you know, every, everything is a what if. If Jimmy Butler didn't run out of gas, maybe they're champions. Okay. So, if we're going to do what ifs, I'm going to say that Miami Heat, with Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo, or with Jimmy Butler, took LeBron to six games, and Bam Adebayo was hurt for two games. Hang on. I thought you were about to bring up the Nuggets. I'm like, please no. don't tell me Jimmy Butler. No. Like, I'm just saying, they had a chance Bam was hurt in the finals, missed a game or two. Goran Dragos was hurt in the finals, missed a game or two. Yeah. Those are your top three scorers, and you still could take took the game six with just Jimmy Butler. I feel like if you give them their other two top scorers, that easily in the bubble could have been a Miami. It's the same scenario for the Cavs in 2015. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, it was so close. Well, like, that's the, they, they, won, they won six in 15. Yeah. So. I'm just saying, those hypotheticals are like, I just want to think about because I think people like get it twisted whenever you see, oh, this team won the finals. You're like, oh, obviously they're the best team in the world. Sometimes that's not the case. It was just circumstance. 2019, the Raptors were not a better team in the world at all. But due to circumstance and stuff happening, the Raptors squeezed out a championship. Then Kawhi left. And then Kawhi left. He got his dub and he was out. But don't ever just think just because someone won the championship that year, they're the best team in the league. Because it just, it just all boils down to what happened. Ray Allen hitting a crazy shot. You know, stuff like that. Something that is not very common. Um, I'm going to talk about some news that we haven't discussed since our last podcast, which came out today. Nope. This is going to go on Friday. Came out Wednesday. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, let's see. Let's see. First one. Campaign was waived by the first. Seen that. Seen that. It's kind of upset. Somebody's gonna pick him because he got picked up so quick after he was Bro, waived campaign, by the Suns. Campaign, like campaign's a bucket. He, he's he's a, right. little, good off the bench. He's the there. second best Murray State player ever, of all time. All right behind Jeff. Um, he are considered most likely to sign Kelly Oubre Jr. Good. Like that gives him a lot. Like skinny jeans, Miami. Miami. Um, Miami. The Cavaliers bring back one of their best players ever. Tristan Thompson. Uh, I'm going to start season at power forward. How y'all feel about that one? I, 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 I like, I like it. it. Let Zach Collins play the center. And let Wemby play the wing because he can show that he can he can trust the floor. He won't have to deal with the big bodies like Joel Embiid or the bruisers. 
We'll see Dunk. Because you know the big guys are going to the big guys are going to try and you know push him around because he is very overhyped. Not overhyped. He's very hyped up, and then he's very his frame is very small. Well, the league, and so you, you kind of want to if you're a center NBA, you want to be like if I want to have a good night against anybody, I want to have a good night against Wimby just to show that I'm a step above him. You know, we got him. But if he's playing power forward and he's not getting in the paint, then you have to worry about Rudy Gobert. I like him at power forward. I think he's a good shot blocker. So then he gets to play that uh, that safety role that Rob, Robert Williams almost said Robert Williams that Robert Williams Maybe. gets to play a lot, which is that's how he gets a lot of his blocks is by like rotating and then just he's there. What if they have Wimby like, run like run like point forward? Right. I thought that'd be crazy. If you're the Maybe. Spurs, what are you playing for this year? Do everything. Try it all. See what works. Yep. Have I mean, fun. I mean, they're not going to win nothing. Yeah. Let's be realistic. They're not going to win anything. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Like, playing it's like 35 wins. Play in at most. Yeah. Um. So. Next one, Chris Paul is expected to start for the Warriors. I don't know how it's going to look. Step in the, the two, play the three. Again, okay, he's so. a smart IQ guy, so. Maybe I'm going to say that I hate that because small ball lineups work in the NBA, but having a small ball lineup as your starting lineup, no player is over six foot seven or six foot eight. Literally. CP is like six foot two. John Lucamingo is seven two, remember? Ooh, shut up. He's not going to start. CP, six foot two. Steph, six foot three. Clay and Draymond are both like six seven. Wiggs is like six seven, six eight. And then your center is going to be. Or that, no, that's five. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, your five. That's a very small lineup. Very, very small lineup. Compared to the Nuggets. Compared to and a, lot of, a lot of teams in the West that have, like, bigger players. The Lakers have, like... It could just be because it's the start of the season, so they're just trying to see how it would work out Yeah. for later on in the season. But, I mean, Draymond's still one of the best defenders of all time, so I'm not saying he's going to lock up a center, but I think he can. He, hold he can on. definitely hold him. Yeah. So I don't, know, I don't hate it. Hopefully it works. We'll see. Um. So next up, I got a response from Laura Markin's wife again. He's over there macking on Laura's wife. Shut Ooh. up. I'm I said, "Hey, uh, me and my friends have started <laughs> podcast, hey, and it'd be cool to either contact you or your husband to talk about." Life being either in the NBA or living with an NBA player. We haven't had any guests on our podcast. It'd be really cool to reach out and do that. And she says, Don't ever second guess yourself. Your offer is very great. Thank you so much. I feel honored that you want me as a guest. I don't give interviews or do podcasts <laughs> at this very moment. I really value my privacy. And once you do those things, you kind of lose it. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, She said, Don't ever contact me again. <laughs> Thank you for understanding and let me know when you recorded your first episode. Good luck. Lady, we have like eight episodes out. Hello. <laughs> Miss Markinen, if you see this episode, um, we don't want to ask him basketball questions. I want to ask him about like uh he had to be an a soldier. How's that? Yeah. I want to know stuff like we that. We simply just want to like have the experience of talking to someone who is like I don't know, lives that life. But like adjustments you had to make, uh, you know, moving from Finland to America. Just anything like that. Inside Just, the mind of Lowry Martin. That's what I want to talk about. And then we're going to end it off with Do you hate the Chicago Bulls? No, we're not. Um, It'd be super cool because as a Bulls fan, I love Lowry and I have from day one. As a Cavs fan, he let me in for a year and a half in Cleveland. As a basketball fan, he and Rizzini. <laughs> so we are all big fans. So Mitz, Verna, Markinen, uh, thank you for being like super courteous in your messages and everything. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you wishing us good luck on our podcast. That's love. Um, love. The Cavs made some signings, but I don't know if you'll know who they are. Justin Powell. <laughs> Go, Pete Nance. Woohoo! Pete Nance. Mavs playing Revlin Queen. Larry Younger Brother. Brandon Williams. Trent Forrest and Hawks agreed to a two way deal. The Kings signed Jordan Ford. Kings waived Erlen's Noel. 
And wow. I don't know how to say this guy's name. Nemus Quaita. Sorry. Uh, Oklahoma City plans for a new downtown arena. $900 million. That's a lot of dollars. Slide me about. Brandon Ingram will wait until 2024 offseason to discuss extension with the Pelicans. Ooh, that one's pretty crazy. He's leaving. Potentially. He's leaving. And if, if their team underperforms like they have been doing, be gone. I'm going to leave them. I'll take you. Maybe. You know what well, Preston, have you ever watched that one interview by Joe Kim Noah where he says nobody wants to go to Cleveland? Ever? He didn't want to. He got traded. Yeah, he didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> he got forced to live there, bro. Everyone else got forced. Like, they got traded there or they got drafted there. Oh, LeBron came back. He had an obligation. Uh, uh, he was born there. So? He, 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 he came back. back. He came back. He didn't have to come back. He didn't yeah, have to come back. He had an obligation. Duke was just mad because he lost to the Cavs. But was he wrong? No. The town is called the Mistake on the Lake for a reason. That's what they call it. It's called Missouri Misery, so I don't know what you're... I'm not saying Missouri's any better. I'm just <laughs> saying that Clay hey. Lake is... Our price of living is not that bad compared to other places. I'd rather pay that price, to be honest with you. Yeah, sometimes I think the same thing. <laughs> Next one, NBA board, of, NBA board of Governors approves rule preventing teams from resting two stars in the same game. They Which do? is crazy. Uh, so, they so, to be considered a star by the NBA, you have to have either made an all-star game or have been all-NBA within the past three seasons. Yep. So, so wait, so you're telling me, like, let's say someone makes an all-star this year, right? And then, like, four seasons later, they're not a star anymore? Yeah. Apparently. Damn. So, like, for example, if... Like, I was, I mean, I was thinking Darius Garland and Jared. So, within the think. past three seasons, Nikola Vucevic, Martin Rosen, and Zach Levine have all been all-stars or all-NBA. So, if Vucevic is down for a game, then the other two can't sit. They have to play. Right. Even though Vucevic is not seen in the league as like, you know, one of the best players anymore. I think teams are going to find a way to work around it. Like, uh, Vucevic the team sprained his thumb. Said he's hurt. Yeah, he sprained yeah. his thumb or something dumb. Doctor's orders. He can't play anymore. Yeah, Kawhi's. I don't know. Kawhi's just going to get away with it. He's just going to do it. All right. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Last one. Rockets are attempting to trade Kevin Porter Jr. I don't think anybody wants. He beat that. Uh, this is in the WNBA. Warren. Uh, Watching the sleeping, bro. He did not want you sleeping. Fractured her neck. Kevin, that is some weak ass shit. If you're gonna fight a bitch, do it while they're awake. They can't even fight. Let her get her gloves on. Let her get in her stance, and then you fight. So you support no, that? No, I'm not saying I support it. Oh, but clip that. If you want to fight, Jack, clip that. Shut up. Jack, clip that. If you want to fight, make it equal. Jack, he, clip he that. He waited for her to fall asleep, and he just gave her that. Chat, look at that Mike Tyson. Oh my god. Chat, look at that. I don't think anybody's gonna like Kevin Porter. Kevin, you can do better. I legitimately don't think. And I've rocked with Kevin Porter since he was in high school. And Kevin Porter's got a bag, but he's. It seems like outside of the basketball court, he's not a great person. Uh, he had that thing going on with Cavs yeah. when he got traded to the Rockets. Now he's beating up women. I was hyped when he came to so, I was hyped. I was like, like, he's awesome. one of the, like my favorite players to watch, like low key. But dude is just not doing himself any favors. He's not a good person. Kind of like last year, whenever Miles Bridges was about to get a max deal from the Hornets, like literally two or three weeks away, then he goes on Instagram Live and he shows him drinking the lean in the club, and they're like, "Oh, we don't want to give a max contract to this guy." And then a week after that, he beats up on his wife or his girlfriend or whatever, and he loses his money. And he gets charged on his record, and he doesn't play basketball for two years. He'll be back. He still has like ten more games before he can come back. He'll be back. He'll be back. But I'm just saying, will, he get, that, will he get that max again? I don't know. Probably mm-hmm. not. But it's just if you're in the NBA, you're one of 450 players in the whole world that is in that position, and it just sucks to see anyone take that for granted and just do some stupid stuff. In the heat of the moment, because there's people that will literally like 
die to be in your shoes and you're over here hitting on a woman just because you're angry. It's very immature. So you want to get in the game and get a technical foul? Get a tech? How about that? Three. Um how long have we been doing this? Yes. Yeah, what does it say? Almost an hour for real. Mm-hmm. Almost 50, 50 minutes and 13 seconds. Okay. Uh, do you have anything else to talk about? Guys, go listen to Rim Racket. Rush, Rush Racket, Racket on Spotify. It's a Spotify exclusive. We talk about football. Uh, my yeah. host doesn't know the name of it. Isn't it on Rim Racket, though? It is on the Rim Racket Spotify page, but the title of it is Rush Racket. Uh, it's a Spotify exclusive. We don't do videos. It's just audio calls. Uh, my first guest was Jordan. Uh, I'm going to have some special guests in the next few weeks. Uh, so be special? Me. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he did so. He did keep going. <laughs> so just tune in. I, if you watch the video, I, I say, know. we have a special guest here. My co-host, Jordan. But then you just said... <laughs> I said we're gonna have some so special, yeah, <laughs> yeah, some, some even more, not me, some even more special. people that you haven't seen, okay, or heard. I've never heard of them. No, they that they <laughs> haven't seen or heard. <laughs> New people, fresh meat. Hey yo, hey yo. Uh, so just keep in tune with that. We're gonna have some people that are really big football fans. Uh, different perspectives from Jordan, obviously, just trying to work his way into liking football again. I might put pressure on there sometime. I don't know. He's a Seahawks fan, and he kind of gets down on there. I want to say something about football. I don't want to talk about Seahawks because they got their ass ran through. By the, um, they did, huh? They got their ass ran through by the Rams. Hey, yo. They got ran by the Rams. That's what happened. That's um, exactly what happened. Josh Allen, why? <laughs> Not only did you give me no points in fantasy, and I lost because of it, but on top of that, I had a bet for you to get 36 and a half yards over so you had to get 37 rushing yards. You want to know how many he ended with? 35. 36. Oh. He was one yard away from giving me my money. I, I came back and beat Mike. I lost. I I Dallas is the my balls kicked in. Hey, except my trade. Did you even look at it? I, I saw a trade request. And you didn't even look at from it. Huge G- Dig, from Huge Digs. And I was like, eh. Live trade? Yeah. Live trade? Let's go look at it. Let's go look, go at, look it. at it. Um. Oh, hey, I ended up getting Brock Purdy. Let's go. Nice. I ended up getting Brock Purdy. If anybody no, wants. you're not getting him. You are high on crack. Was he one? He wants Tyler. Uh, I can't ever say the last name. Doesn't even know who Out here. Dude that I should have had on my lineup last week because he had 24 points on my bench. And you want to give me Jarek McKinnon and Drake London? Do you? Drake London? Me? Names. Anyways, Jerk or not Jerk? Um, Tyler isn't gonna be. I don't think he's, he's gonna, gonna be eating. Points. He's gonna be eating all year long. I don't think he playing, will. Playing on the because team he's their goal part. line guy. Bijan's gonna be doing the other stuff. Mm. I did my research for us with that trade. Mm. But if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. Dude, he's you need a quarterback. Uh, I don't have any backup quarterback. Yeah, bro. Five yards. Yards. Dude. Jordan Love, he's he's a good go get him. He did good last week. I'll, I'll, I'll see. If I have Josh Allen, I'm never going to start unless something bad goes. Unless something bad happens. I'll see what your team looks like because I got Brock Purdy. Can you tell me if? No, I don't want you to tell me because you'd be the type of person to pick him up instead of actually letting me get him. No, I I'd pick get a got a backup quarterback. I need a backup running back. That's what I was looking at the other day, but I couldn't find nobody. Uh, I don't want to come off James Conner. Huh? James Conner for. Time. Okay, we're getting too much into our fantasy. Uh, this was this week's episode of Rim Rack. I'm going to have to say what the draft. What the draft? Off the top of the head. Zach wants us to do a posterizer draft. Posterizer? Like, so the best in-game dunks. Dunk best dunks. in-game dunks. Off, off let's the just do... We'll just do a starting five. Let's see starting five. Uh, let's just do rapid fire. Just one I want to start, I start I wanna, five poster dunks? Yeah. Uh, I, wanna, I want first pick. You want first pick? I haven't gotten first pick. Okay, yet. so what do you like to that? Like Just go with the youngest. Is that you? He's after you. Yeah, I'm yeah. Okay. Um, He's going to go with the obvious one. Hey, yo. Dude, there's a fly. 
There's no fly. Jordan needs to. No, there's a fly right there. All right, right cool. Cool. I think I have last pick, so I have a double. Okay, with my first pick, I'm going to pick a guy who jumped over a seven footer. Give me the inspector. Okay. Um, give me. He said, okay, I'm the first pick. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the only player I need to play on this. He said, shit. Give me LeBron James. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Sweet. All right, I want Michael Jordan and Blake Griffin. Uh, give me Nate Robinson and DeAndre Jordan. Wait, you don't get two? You don't get two? Who is this? You fucking cheater? You don't get two? Dude, it's, a, it's going to be fast. My brain got... <laughs> you pick one. Okay. You pick no, one. it's your turn. You're snaking back. But you pick one of those players. You pick two players. You only pick one. I know, but it's not even my turn. It's your turn. <laughs> oh. He goes back. Yes, he goes to back to you. <laughs> so you skip me, little bastard. Well, you know what he wants. I'm not going to pick this guy in. I'm going to pick... Aaron Gordon. Okay, so now I get two. I'm taking those guys I just said. Nate <laughs> Robinson and DeAndre Jordan. Okay. So now it goes back to it's you. my turn. Yeah. Me again. Uh, okay, so small forward and then power forward. Point guard. Let me get... Let me get Tracy McGrady. Okay. Um, I'm going to go... I need a point guard too, so I'm going to go Russell Westbrook. And then I have Russell, Mike, Blake Griffin, so I need a small forward and a center. Uh, give me... Small forward in the center. Who's a good? Who's like a big? Who's in the center? They dunk a lot. Oh my god! If you don't pick him, I'll pick him. I can't think of anybody. Dude. My mind's going blank. A center that dunks a lot. Yes. Is that who you're thinking of? Yes. I have somebody. Is he big? Yes. I have somebody. Oh. Yeah, you pick somebody. <laughs> what team do you play for? <laughs> what number does he wear? Um. Eighty-seven. That's your only pick. That's your only pick. That's your only pick. That's Oh, no. No, I was wrong. Well, Kelsey is 81. Uh, Gronk is 87. Pick a center, man. Okay, center. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No, I don't know. Uh, Daryl Dawkins. Really? I don't know. Okay. I couldn't, I couldn't say Sad. anything. Did you not... Wait, yeah, I get the second pick. Yeah, you dummy. But well, you already picked the center, so. This is a bad one. Griffin, small For real? <laughs> this is way too stressful doing it all the Wait, no, he picked Russell Westbrook. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Chad, Chad, fucking okay, cheater. Right now, I have right. Nate Robinson, DeAndre Jordan, and Vince Carter. I don't know. You said rapid. <laughs> Here we are. Go to the We can calm down. Okay, I'm going to go with. This is why we don't do you in the. You go, what? what? <laughs> this guy's going to do my power forward. The guy with the most dunks in NBA history, Dwight Howard. So, I have Dwight, DeAndre, Nate yeah, Robinson, true. Vince Carter. Yeah. You picked Nate Robinson. I think he's like the most. Maybe not in the history, but like in the past 25 years. You picked Nate Robinson. So I need one more. You picked Nate Robinson, right? Did yeah. You him? Yeah, Nate, Vince, DJ, and Dwight. Okay. Mm-hmm. I fumbled the bag with that Daryl Dawkins pick. I literally don't think anybody. Oh, Dominique. I'll take Dominique. He's not bad. Yeah, yeah. Dominique Wilkins. All right, so I got Brandon Roy. No. I have T-Mac, Brandon Roy. <laughs> Brandon Roy's my thought. I'm sorry, I'm picking him up. No, that's not what I'm picking. Uh, T-Mac, LeBron, Aaron Gordon, Shaq, Jason Richardson. Okay. Well, I have, I have Russell Westbrook, Michael Jordan, Blake Griffin, and Daryl Dawkins. I'll take uh, Dr. J. Solid off, off the top of the head, draft. Very stressful. Very stressful. Just because fuck the order all up. I'm over cheating. I take my turns and smoke shit. But we got it. There you go, Zach. There you go, Zach. You go. 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 Yeah. Shout out, Zach. Um, so we gotta start doing more drafts. I love drafts. We can do a draft. I, I love just like picks. picking. Okay, next draft, best role players of all time. Are... What defines a role player, though? No, all stars are all NBAs. So like Lamar Odom would count. He was in an all stars crazy. And you're right on what's what's your mind. So do you guys have anything anything else? Nope. Uh, nope. That should be it. All right. Uh thank you for watching and listening to this episode of Firm Racket. Uh please like and subscribe to help out the algorithm or alligator as Jacob calls it. And uh yeah. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this episode. Peace out. Peace.